Libra. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I am Amira. This is Monocopes' is Soul Healing. Thank you guys so much for being here, for clicking on this video. Um, this is going to be a message for my Libras. Okay. So wherever you have Libra in your chart, it may very well resonate for you. This is a monthly prediction. Okay, so the month of May. Um, keep in mind, guys, that these readings are general and uh, timing is fluid, okay? If you're interested in a personal reading, they're actually on sale this month. 50% off in honor of my one-year youtube anniversary. okay? So if you're interested in that, that information will be down in the description box as far as how to contact me. In this message, Libra, we're going to get a theme for the week. As you can see, I'm shuffling for that right now. Once we've accomplished that and we talk about it, we will um, go through another deck in its entirety to take a look at what different energies you'll be encountering for the month of May, what people you may have to deal with, um, just to give you a little bit of a heads up, right? What you need to be prepared for and aware of as far as what's going on for May. For Libra. For Libra. Alright, so let's take a look at your theme. I knew it was going to be a chakra. <laughs> it's the base chakra. Such a Taurian energy. I, want, I don't know. I'm not sure if the base chakra is ruled by Taurus, but um, I would I would bet on it, okay? Um, so the base chakra is about our safety, security, um, our home, our job, um, the things that we need in order to feel safe, in order to feel secure, right? So all of those things, um, money, resources, a roof, a way to pay our bills, um, maybe even a commitment, okay? Um, which is interesting because it's making me kind of think of codependency. So for some of you, that may be something that you are working through this month or need to pay attention to. Base chakra is where we start, although some people get it uh, misconstrued and think that it's the last one. This is the most important chakra without the base, without your feet. I mean, you would be uh, unable to, to stand tall, unable to stand on your own two feet, unable to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish, right? You need that, that, that form of stability in order to do that. And so, um, you know, for some of you, again, there, there may be some form or, or some hint of codependency that needs to be addressed this month, or maybe this is a month that you're realizing that, okay, I do have some traits of being a little bit codependent. Um, I am in this relationship because it keeps me stable. Um, I am at this job simply because I'm able to pay my bills, that kind of thing. All right. I stay, why am I getting Minnesota? I don't know. I stay in Minnesota because this is what I'm comfortable with. This is where I'm from. It's where I was born. Um, I don't know why I got Minnesota, okay? Maybe some of you are from there. Um, but this is basically what the base chakra speaks about. It's what you need to feel safe and secure, okay? It speaks about our needs. So let's get started here, Libra. <sighs> All right. So we start off with the Seven of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Star. So this is you guys um, really defending something, determined um, to be successful, determined to have what it is that you that you want, that you need. The Four of Wands is actually a place of freedom, believe it or not, um, as is the Ten of Pentacles in comparison or by comparison. If you think about resources, if you think about money, if you think about a house, a, a job, all those things that we named in the base chakra, if you have them, then you do feel a little bit free because you don't have to think about them every day. Somebody who does not have a roof over their head is 
constantly thinking about this thing, constantly thinking about what where their next meal is going to come from, um, how they're going to survive through the night, how they're going to make it the very next day without starving, right? Uh, and so the Four of Wands is in fact the place of feeling a bit free. So some of you may be determined to get to that point here with this um, Seven of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Star. It's like I want a firm foundation to where I don't have to want for anything. Some of you may be wanting this for your children in particular or a child that's on the way even okay yeah five of pentacles the wheel of fortune and the hierophant as i said there's some kind of insecurity it's showing up um towards the beginning of the month here because it is a significant lesson that needs to be learned with the hierophant um i feel like there's a need to kind of let go of control the wheel of fate says that the universe is in charge and there's nothing that we can do about it even if we try now this can mean that maybe there is an energy of obsessing over wanting something so badly. This definitely has to do with a child for a lot of you wanting to keep a child safe um, or maybe even your inner child and some, some abandonment wounds that have not been healed. All right. That makes someone cling even more so to security, to stability. Um, it, side note, and I feel the need to go into it. So it must be for someone because I'm really passionate about that. Um, I think that it's important to know um, our triggers as a partner in relationships. Uh, and that is one that I feel like a lot of people take for granted or don't fully understand. Now, of course, there's a need to do healing. You know, there's there's always a need to heal in some way. And again, we I, I spoke about that with the codependency. But as a significant other, as a partner, um, especially as it pertains to commitment or thinking about uh, getting to a higher level of commitment with somebody, it's important to know um, whether or not your partner has this trigger where they need that stability because they've been in a situation where they did not have it. Okay, I'm going to move on. I'm not going to ramble about it. <laughs> For some of you, maybe this is something that you're finding out, okay? Maybe this is something that you're finding out about somebody else or something that you're finding out about yourself. It seems like there's a significant discussion about it, all right? Um, and there is, uh, again, you know, I, I, don't, I don't see the devil energy here yet. Um, I don't know when he will pop his head out, but I do feel this, um, I really, 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 really want kind of energy. Um, and but it's to the point where someone is uh, maybe becoming a little bit destructive, whether it be in self-sabotage or destructive and um, as it pertains to the people around them. OK, or it has the potential to be that way. Queen of Cups, the Empress and the King of Wands. Yeah, there's some kind of baby either on the way or someone is considering this um, and how how things will change moving forward or how things need to change moving forward. There's something about an agreement. We saw it earlier with the Hierophant, but for whatever reason, they're wanting me to highlight it here because it has to do with um, the Hierophant speaks to values. OK, it speaks to rigid control um structure you know this is what i learned as a child and so this is how it shall be um the thing is that's not how it works you know we we, we follow through life with those values and then at some point we learn other lessons and then we have to kind of shift and and um especially as it pertains to partnering up with another individual there may need to be some common ground that one comes to and i feel like there's maturity here with this empress card as far as what needs to happen differently either within myself or what you know my surroundings okay what needs to change seven of swords the ten of pentacles and the sun um i need you guys to pay attention to your money here i need you to pay attention to your money okay there's um and we saw it with that page of swords yeah there's someone who is um overly curious overly um uh, i want to say overly aggressive but it's like yeah, okay, I guess that's what we can call them, overly aggressive. They want to know everything, um, whoever this is. And, and, you know, maybe that's why the Empress is there and, and needing to learn a lesson about herself, about her, her self-worth, her value um, as a woman. Um, because, you know, the attention is one thing, but this is someone who is overly curious with ill intentions, okay? I don't like it. 
the fool yeah the eight of pentacles and the king of coins because there's something about your money okay there's something about your money i mean maybe there's some inheritance that someone is receiving with that ten of pentacles or something that someone is just working on with the base chakra that again will bring them that place of to that place of stability where they feel secure and they feel free they don't have to really want for anything or work really hard um for anything anymore or to a certain degree right um, I just want you to be mindful of this so that you're not in the energy of feeling like a fool or feeling like you were made a fool. There's, there, there's a possibility of embarrassment as it pertains to something like this, okay? Eight of Swords, Three of Wands, and the Two of Wands. There's something here that you guys are figuring out, okay? Something that you're manifesting. Um, Eight of Swords is, is, is self-limiting beliefs, so be mindful of that as you um, move forward in whatever this endeavor is. This feels like something new. The next three cards will relate to it once I pull them, but I want to tell you just be mindful of your your thoughts, okay? Because your thoughts become things that that's how we manifest. So just be mindful of that as we move forward because if you tell yourself it's going to take too long, if you tell yourself that the, the distance is too far, if you tell yourself, I don't know how to be in charge of this, then that's exactly what's going to happen or lack thereof. The tower, the lovers, the lovers, that's the ten of cups, Amira, and the knight of swords. Yeah, okay? There's a bit of anxiety as it pertains to... Um, uh, okay, so what's happening here, um, Libra, is you need to calm your thoughts down, okay? it's a there's, there's too many that are coming in, and it's like you need to sort through them, all right? You need to sort through them so that you don't um, make a foolish mistake or, or um, say something too quickly, decide on something too quickly prior to having full-blown clarity. Um, I get it with this Ten of Cups that, you know, this is something that you really, really want that would make you happy. Um, maybe for some of you, this is jumping into, jumping into marriage or commitment too soon. Whatever it is, just slow yourself down, okay? Two of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Six of Swords, right? You need to slow down, okay? Uh, otherwise, something it'll become too much, okay? The Two of Pentacles is a place of adaptation, and with that pentacle, that precious, precious pentacle, that golden opportunity, you have to make the right decision. Otherwise, you will crash and burn. Slow down, allow yourself to gain clarity, find peace in the situation, and trust where you're being led, but not so so much that you don't have discipline there's a need to have discipline especially as it pertains to your spending here six of wands the three of cups and the devil there's a devil card right next to the three of cups someone has a problem with attention okay um and and this someone has a problem with attention and and, and as you know all the words that i've said it, since i started the video um what's most important here is that attention is directly related to the codependency that i spoke about earlier as well okay it feeds an insecurity and that's what the devil will do feed on you and spit you right out eight of cups um oh i like that eight of cups the six of cups and the judgment card so you're gaining awareness of this immediately um maybe it's because you're watching this tarot reading maybe it's because some of your past comes back to haunt you or you remember um that you know this is how i used to act during my in my childhood or there's some kind of thing something there's something here that reminds you of your childhood or reminds you maybe even of a particular parent here um or parenting style and this is how you're immediately gaining awareness, okay? I like that. Magician, yeah, okay, immediately aware. The Magician, the King of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. This start, sets you off on a new journey, having this new opportunity, or excuse me, this new idea. It kind of sets you off on a new journey um, of learning more about yourself. Justice. Ten of Wands and the Strength card, which is called Fortitude in this deck. Um, I don't know what this is about, Libra, but it seems like um, you have to convince yourself to do the right thing. <laughs> what does this have to do with? Yeah, Nine of Swords, the Lovers, and the Hermit. There's some kind of guilt showing up here. This could be in in the in the um within the framework of of um being honest with someone about something from the past or 
just being honest with someone moving forward about a decision that you have to make here because it's like you have to convince yourself to do the right thing okay and yeah and for a lot of you it does have to do with your past or you know whether this is something in the past or not there's a similar situation that you went through or a lesson that you already learned um that you can use or that's like triggering this like i know better kind of thing okay knight of wands the death card and the seven of coins what is this There's some confusion here about um, what to do moving forward, which is interesting because the Knight of Wands is, is um, he could be very impulsive, okay? This is someone who is passionate about something, acting because they really, really want something. There's a lot of desire, a lot of passion. There's, um, this is someone who's a little bit dramatic, but things quickly change and then there's confusion what's the next three yeah the emperor the temperance card and the ace of cups you gotta get it you gotta get um a hold of this okay there's something um maybe in the second or you know going on third week here where you guys um kind of i want to say lose your faculties i don't know there's some kind of either inappropriate behavior behavior or inability to moderate um how much somebody indulges in something okay um and it, i guess it's because there are a lot of feelings involved a lot of emotions involved in whatever this is i, I but i i feel like there will be immediate regret okay you need to get a handle on this yeah knight of cups there it is all right the, you know the knight of cups is somebody who has unrealistic expectations most of the knights do they're not very mature energies but the knight of cups in particular is someone who acts on their feelings who expresses themselves um by way of grand gestures and and expects just like oh gosh it's really sickening honestly because you know while it feels all cutesy in the moment it, it, in 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 his low vibration he's jealous he's overly emotional does not know how to properly express his emotions he's probably emotionally manipulative amongst other things okay um emotional blackmail things of this sort and so i feel like there's a need to really get a handle on that energy before you move forward and solidify something ace of swords the lovers and the nine of pentacles there's some kind of contract here that you're gonna that you are considering um whether that be a work contract or uh, committing yourself to another individual as far as partnering up um this feels kind of um either like you're not anticipating it to be long term or you know that could just be my intuitive feeling that it's not going to be long term either way it's not going to be long term okay whatever this is the hangman the queen of swords and the okay so that was some kind of rebound thing back there for a lot of you okay hangman uh queen of swords and the world yeah i don't know it, it's it's weird okay whatever that is or whomever that is um it's like you just needed it in order to see things differently okay there's something here that you had to go through it to see a different situation from a different perspective um, and that has everything to do with stubbornness and ego, but I feel like um, there's clarity here, okay, after you go through whatever that situation is, okay, and it brings you the closure necessary to move forward. Five of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Something new, something new. You guys are um, beginning to heal here, especially if there's been some kind of um, ailment or sickness, okay, that you've been dealing with. This is you guys feeling a bit better. Um, I feel like there's some trouble. Somebody needs to go to the eye doctor, side note. Okay, somebody needs to go to the eye doctor. I don't know if it's been um, migraines or um, maybe just somebody who typically wears glasses and it's been avoided. Um, somebody needs to go to the eye doctor. Okay. Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Five of Wands. This is you guys letting loose. Is there a party? 
um, I don't know if there's a party or gathering or just um, a new energy. I mean, you got this new revitalization back there with the Ace of Wands. So, I mean, the Queen of Wands is somebody who will definitely let loose. This is somebody who manifests what she wants for her life. It's someone who is um, has a, a beautiful, bright spirit about her. Um, this is someone who has a lot of connection. She she is she may be a business owner. She may um, have a lot of different people or, or events or organizations that she's a part of very attractive person and so i feel like um feminine energy or excuse me female or male this is a feminine energy of someone who has a really good spirit i feel like you're letting loose okay i don't know king of swords or somebody is okay the moon card and the lovers um there's some kind of doubt about a friendship yeah two of cups knight of pentacles and the ten of swords well i guess your doubt is on par with what reality is because there's some kind of betrayal here it's interesting because i see this person immediately trying to apologize with gifts i don't need your gifts yeah there's your intuition coming through i don't need your gifts okay ace of pentacles the high priestess and the page of cups they're trying to apologize by way of a gift um it could be money or something tangible um no thank you okay um nine of wands nine of cups and the six of coins um i feel like you guys are doing something to to put yourself in a good mood here something that you haven't done in a long time for some of you maybe it's literally dancing or um some something having to do with the arts the nine of cups is a is a piscean energy very creative very intuitive and very um uh, very much about pleasure okay so there's something here that you want to do in order to lift your spirits and it is of a financial nature next three yeah page of wands three of swords and the queen of coins it's because your feelings are hurt maybe having to do with that friend that you had to cut off all right last three four of swords seven of cups and another lover's card so you you end the month off here libra in a good place of feeling peaceful OK, um, whether this is a just a break for some of you, this is only a break that you're taking from that friend and you guys will come back together because it seems like it really did hurt whatever, whatever they did, whatever you did. Somebody's feelings are are, in here, are, are really hurt here. And I, and I feel like there's a need to recover, maybe gain some clarity, maybe say some actual apologies. OK, have a good conversation about it. Hug it out and move forward. OK, I like this message for you guys. I truly hope that something here did resonate or that just that you enjoyed your time here on the channel. Don't forget to like this video, share the love and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time for the next one.